In this video, we take a trip to four different countries, Croatia, Italy, Spain, Malta. We, we visit six different hotels, budget friendly. That means the lowest cost in each destination. What do you think we're gonna get? You think we're gonna get some good prices out of this? Some good deals? Or are we gonna stay in the slums and in scholar with the bums? What do you guys think? And this is gonna be apartments and hotels, not hostels. So let's see what we get in Valencia, Barcelona, Bergamo, Zagreb, Trogir, Malta. That's it, I think. Yeah, that's it. Click like, subscribe, and share. And what do you guys think about this outfit? Beautiful. So the price range actually ranges from 30 to about 50 euros a night, I think. So not bad for Europe. Not bad for these countries. Not bad for some of the biggest tourist destinations across Europe. This is the Bon jo Show, this is not your show We have traded the 905 for G-O-O-B This is Bon jo Show Bwah. What up people, this is Bon jo. Today, we're making a video of a comparison video A comparison video of how much it costs to stay in a Croatia, Spain, and Malta Our first spot is here and Zagreb, the capital. And when I came here, we're staying down this way. Doop. But when I first came here, my first reaction and my first impression was there was a drunk guy sleeping there. And he, he woke up and he's like, where am I? And then he fell back down to sleep. And then someone called the cops on him. So I guess he was comfortable, but the people didn't want him sleeping here. But it was hilarious. The guy was just chilling, you know, sleeping, minding his business. A drunk Dita. Dita's getting drunk at night. She never happened. Go home, Dita's. But yeah, this is my first stop here and it's in Zagreb. And this place costs 39 euros. So 39 euros is not a bad price, right? And this is what the street looks like. It's not that one. It's this little red one. So let's check it out, eh? Let's get inside here. Yeah, it's probably going to be messy. <laughs> There's Enzo. Hello. There's it. Oh, Enzo, keep the lights on. Sorry. But uh, this is... So, in this apartment, here, grab him for a second. In this apartment, we get a whole apartment for 39 euros in the capital city. So, it's right here. We get the whole kitchen, brand new kitchen, fridge, stove, oven, sink, TV, cable, Wi-Fi, heat, air conditioner if you want. It's freezing, though. And this is our bedroom, which is also pretty big. Big bed. Not bad, right? For 39 euros? Jeez, in the capital city. We also got another wall unit heater, a towel rack heater, brand new kind of bathroom, old washer, but if you want to wash your clothes, you got it. A nice little sweet corner shower. You got the old um, booty washer, because you, you can move it and, you know, wash your booty, getting all the grooves. And you got a brand new toilet. And it's not a bad place for 39 euros. Now the next one we're going to, well I'm going to, because Mickey and Enzo will be at home, is in Malta. I think we're staying in St. Paul's Bay. Relax in. This one's called the Red App uh, Apartments. So that's what it's called here. And it's on Sholianska Ulica. So, or Sholtanska Ulica or something like that. And it's not bad here. This is not a bad place for it. So it's a little comparison, see what you get in each country. And this guy keeps turning off on and off the lights. It's not autism, it's not. <laughs> Heck, we're gonna throw in a fourth country in there. Italy, we're going to Milan too. And I'm still here in Zagreb obviously, waiting for the train, the tram, to come take us to Zrenjavac Park and uh, Kol of Duar, Glavni Kol of Duar, to skate a little bit and do some uh, advent stuff. But our apartment is literally down that street. It's five minutes away from here. 
So you have a pretty good location and the other way, it's actually close to the bus station. So it's a pretty good location for this one. It's in the residential area, as you can see here, with all the buildings and the homes and everything. But I think that's our tram coming right now down here. And we're off. And next time you see me, you will see me in Malta. Let's hop on. We're hopping on over here. Look, he's right here. So now that we're in Malta, we're at the Relax Inn. That's where we'll be staying at the Relax Inn. This is what 50 euros gets you in Malta. We're actually staying here for 70 euros for three nights. Three nights, four days at this beautiful place. It's in uh, Caraba Bay. No, Bugaba Bay. Bujiba Bay. In St. Paul's Bay. So we're here and this is, we're just waiting to be put to our bedrooms, I guess. And it's beautiful. So we're inside our flashy room. Let's turn on this. Check out the washroom first. Wow, what are we talking about, huh? It's a beautiful brand new washroom, huh? Can you believe that? For the whole week, 70 euros, I think it was? Not yet. Yes. Look at this bedroom. Oh, I've never seen eh, look at this, we got a double bed. We were supposed to have two singles, but they switched it to a double because they seen us. And then we got the sea view. Jeez, what are we doing? Look at this. How beautiful is this? How, how do you like this place? Um, this is, what, I feel okay, now. talk about the bus ride. No, the bus ride was awful. So the reason we picked this hotel was actually because of Mickey. I would have picked Sliema, but she wanted to pick this one because it's seaside and it's I don't know, look at the view. It's right by the water, it's beautiful. But the bad thing about this hotel is it's far away from the airport. And if you're taking a bus like us, it takes an hour, one whole hour on a dead season. So I imagine if it was high season, it would take two hours at least. And right now, the ferries to Gozo are closed because of the wind. So if you come here, expect a lot of wind maybe in the low season, but yeah. The highs are obviously the sea view. The location is pretty good. St. Paul's Bay looks pretty good. Looks, it's a little bit dead down there. There's nobody in the streets. But hey, I, I like it. I think in the high season it would be better. But this is primo, primo, primo. Yeah, so this is the hotel that we're staying at in Barcelona. The Catalonia Sagrada Familia. And this is the place that you're going to see inside soon. And this is our next stop after Malta, so you're gonna check this out. Let's go. So this is our hotel room in Barcelona. It's the most expensive one that we paid out of this little video I'm doing. But this is what it looks like. It's pretty nice, it's small. But the location is why we picked it. It's by the Sagrada La Familia. And it's uh, close to the metro stop. And it's pretty nice in here, I would say. Like, let's, check out, let's check out the bathroom here. Look at this. Not a bad place. Cool, huh? Good shower, got the bathtub style. Bathtub style is not the favorite, but you got a big mirror in case you like yourself a lot. Um, you got the fridge, the nice groovy fridge, a safe. Safe is always good. Look at this, a nice little closet. This was the most expensive one on our list, probably. And they gave us a baby crib, but Enzo will not be using that because he doesn't, he's not a baby, he doesn't like cribs. And I don't know if they gave us a complimentary water either, but it looks like it. But yeah, the reason why we picked this is because it's closed and it was actually the cheapest one because Barcelona is pretty expensive. And we're staying here for about a couple nights and it's not bad. So in Croatia, we picked it because it was cheap. It was 30, 39 euros. That's the cheapest one probably. No, the one in Malta is the cheapest one, but it was a good, it was a bad location, but it had a great sea view, even though we didn't even pay for the sea view. So we, 
we got that as a bonus we weren't expecting that so that was okay but the croatia one had good location cheap price and it's fairly good except for maybe the paint job was a little bit off um but this one is beautiful it's a hotel like a proper hotel yeah like a proper hotel and it's uh a little more pricey if you're, especially if you're staying here for a long time but it's not so pricey it's affordable yeah. if you come into Bar a city like barcelona so this is this one then we're going to valencia and you're going to see our room there and usually if you rent off airbnb and stuff you don't get whole apartments in croatia we had a whole apartment we had the kitchen like a whole kitchen a bathroom washer dryer you know here and in malta you don't get that kind of stuff you kind of you kind of just get a room you know we didn't even have a fridge in malta and in valencia we yeah we have a fridge so that's cool so that's beer filled for a couple nights yeah. but yeah and um i forget what i was saying jeez that happens you know and then but when you travel through europe especially italy and spain usually when you rent you rent a room because a whole apartment in italy and spain is really expensive and a room is like the cheapest like 50 euros a night usually the the going rate is and up 50 is the cheapest and then it's up from there so yeah this is what we picked and we're right beside la, la sagrada familia pretty much right mickey um, yeah it's beautiful it's not bad eh? no we got a kebab place right across the street no a, a sandwich that makes the hamoni iberica or Catalanes. something yeah that catalan sandwich and um then we got the supermercado right there and then we got a kebab place down the street i just seen and the kebabs look five euros that's cheaper than malta here we are you know this is bonjo we're out here in barcelona now i hope you can get a good idea of what you pay for around europe i just did the three countries but you know and we're going to go to italy so get ready for italy we're going to milan next actually we're going to valencia next then milan we're on to our apartment in valencia here look at this we got the old antique looking place look at it's a mess right now but we got a bed table that's all their stuff got a tv in the corner look at this beautiful cabinetry not bad for 50 bucks in valencia and look at this we're right in the square you can catch the bus over there uh, if you walk down this street it goes directly to downtown valencia the location's pretty good it's like from the airport i think it's only like 10 15 minutes it costs 10 euros from the bus station to get here and uh it's argentine inspired these people are actually from argentina so let's take a look at the living room the common area look at this see beautiful huh okay beautiful stuff Argentina we got out there yeah it's a nice little antique looking place you got everything uh you want to see the washroom don't you okay let's go see the washroom <sighs> got the shower yeah it takes a little bit of time take five minutes to heat up the water but you got a toilet got a sink got everything This place actually costs us less than 50 euros a night because Mickey's sister hooked us up with a deal. But look at this, huh? It's a beautiful little central area. It's a perfect location for us. It's cheap. It actually costs us only, I think, about 19 euros a night. But I think a normal person would cost 50 euros. But we're staying here for the like a month. So I think that's why we got the deal. If you stay here a couple nights, 50 euros or more. In Spain and Italy, they usually do that. But yeah, this was our Valencia apartment. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, you get an idea of what you can get here. It's one room, but you get a shared kitchen and a shared bathroom with another room. So there's two rooms that share one bedroom and the other two rooms share the, I, I mean bathroom, and the other two rooms share the other bathroom. So there's two bathrooms for four rooms. So it's nice. So look at this. Look at this little delivery girl, huh? What is she delivering? Electronics? kind of cool it's like a smart car scooter and this is Valencia we're here next up Milan 
Can't wait to see our apartment in Bergamo. So this is where our Airbnb is here. We chose this one because it's cheap. This one was actually 50 euros right on. And it's right on the street in Bergamo, Italy. You gotta, they send you all the information. You hit the punch key. Mickey's not doing it right. So this is where our Airbnb is located. Look, look at this. It's an old historical building here. Look at this, hey right, guys? Look at this massive court. And they, it even goes further and further inside there. Crazy, isn't it? Look at this. It's like an old place where those uh, priests and everything is there. Looks like a church. Pew, pew, pew. Nice though, eh? Wow. Here's a look inside. Yeah, I was right. It's like some sort of old facility. But this is the bathroom we got. Not bad. Got the toilet, the bidet, the hand washer here. Got the window if you want to look outside. Well, you poop. Look at that, eh? Old rustic buildings. Pretty cool. But let's go check out our. Let's go check out our bedroom. This is what 50 euros gets you here in Bergamo, in Milan, huh? Look at this. Look at this, you know. I mean, at nighttime, it would be creepy here. What do you think? Yeah, it can be. It can be creepy. It's... But it's like an antique. Yeah, oh. that's a nice way. That's a nice way of saying it. <laughs> it's an antique place, we'll say. We'll call it. Yeah, uh, the windows don't open, so they can't jump out. That's pretty, that's okay, I guess. But look at, oh, this one opens. I can jump out this one. But look at this, huh? Here's the guy that just showed us around. Legend, you wanna go check out the kitchen? Let's go check out the kitchen, eh? I'm gonna check out the kitchen. What? Can't open it. <laughs> there we go. It works, see? Look at this. This is the hallway to the kitchen. Whoa. This is a lounge area plus another bathroom. Another bathroom and shower in here, they said. And I don't see the shower. I don't see the shower. Look at this. What the heck? Look at this. It's kind of cool, eh? It's kind of cool, this place. Kind of cool. Let's go check out the kitchen now. This is $50, 50 euros a night in Bergamo. Milan. The kitchen's pretty. Look at this. Kitchen, so you have to sort your garbage. Don't be noises, plastics, and papers. What's in the middle one? Nothing. Let's see what's in this one. No. Pretty cool, huh? You got all your coffees, your coffee cups, your spices. It's a pretty cool kitchen outside. It's rustic. It's nice, huh? I like this kitchen, but this is $50 here in Bergamo. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? Is it cheap here in Italy? Which one has been the best country to have an apartment? A whole apartment in Croatia with a fully furnished kitchen, bathroom for yourself that, as a private or shared accommodations here in Italy and Spain or Malta, the hotels. Which country has the best accommodations for the buck? So far? Yeah. Out of Spain, Malta, Italy, ah! or, or Croatia. I like the views from Malta's hotel. I like the hotel room from Barcelona's hotel. But you get a whole apartment in Croatia. These other countries, you don't get that for 50 euros. Exactly. So if you're planning to cook and stay at home and want privacy, Croatia probably has the best bang for its buck. Easily, right? 
At least in Zagreb, that is the capital. Yeah, and on the coast. Remember the place in um, Markarska? Markarska. That one was. That's cheaper than all these. Yeah. This one's. Uh, what's your thoughts on this one? It feels empty. It feels cold. It feels like no mobile, no uh, furniture. And creepy. Yes, but that is an experience also. Yeah, the creepy Italian apartment. Jeez, this is haunted for sure. This is like an old warehouse, like a building, that a factory or something. It's something. It's kind of interesting though. This is the most interesting one for sure. The other ones were just straightforward hotels or apartments, but this one's like... Like you walk, I just showed you guys walk out through the hallways. What the hell are we doing? Yeah, also the room that we picked, it was one with the, the cell. I don't know how you say it. Yeah, oh yeah, we didn't get it. Yeah, it's supposed to be um, like a net over the top and it's supposed to be like a nicer. And then kind these of. were two beds that we put them together. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, uh, you know? It's a case only tonight. It's only two nights. Let's go, Milan. But thanks for watching, people. That was a good little video. A lot of information. Hopefully, you guys get an understanding of what you're getting yourself into when you're renting Airbnb or Booking.com apartments here in Europe. This is nice. Though. Look at this. Whoa. Now let's move on to my property here in the Dalmatian coast. There's Bubba behind me, smoking a cigar. So we've been to Italy, we've been to Malta, we've been to Spain, we've been to the capital of Croatia. Now let's see how much an apartment goes for down here in the southern part of Croatia. What do you know? We're at my house. My apartment's here. Look at the beach, the water's out there. This, now this in the winter, at the same time I went to those places at, these apartments are only 30 euros a night. So you can stay here for 30 euros a night. Look at this. Wow, look at this. You got the map of Croatia. You got Trogir. Actually, that's Dubrovnik. You got another picture of Croatia. Look at this. Around the Croatia, you got a TV. You got a full kitchen here. What are we talking about? Wow, look at this. You even got beach cushions. You got the bathroom, full bathroom. You know what I mean? Look at this, wow. Hot water and everything. And then you got the beautiful comfort in the Buño suite. Look at this, on suit, wow. Plus you got a personalized balcony. What, from the bedroom, what? Oh, you don't like this one? You don't like this apartment? Let's go check out number two. Number two, apartment two. Walks right in. Okrogorny, what? You got the bathroom here. Look at this, look at the beautiful shower head. What? And you got this beautiful kitchen. Look at this. Isn't that just gorgeous? Plus you got the nice little sofa with the beautiful sailboat painted with the little beech wood, the driftwood that says love made by me, yours truly. You got the Starfish on the wall. That one's from Argentina. Did you got these these little guys? These are also from Argentina. All these all these pictures are from around the world. All these little things are from around the world. Where's this from? I could be from Italy. Look at this bed, this antique looking bed. Wow. Wow. Plus, look at this in the bedroom. You got wow. Beautiful, right onto the balcony. Isn't that something else, right? Oh, you want to go check out the balcony? Let's go check out the balcony. Look at this. How beautiful is this? Wow. Wow. Oh, you got these ding-dongs doing construction across the street. Look at this, huh? With a huge wraparound porch on the balcony. This is a magical. What a place. And think about that. This is 30 euros a night. So where do you think is the best bang for your buck? I would say my place personally. My place, whew, perfect. Plus you get to hang out with me and see me. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. 
the grapevine's chilling. Incredible, isn't it? Just incredible. Marvelous, I tell you. And there's your neighbors. You can stay one or two, one or two, right? 30 euros a night. Come on. DM me. DM me at the bottom. If you guys ever plan a trip to Croatia, maybe you could rent a Buño suite here. 30 euros. In the summertime, I have to tell you, it goes a little bit higher because it's, you know, it's a sought after area. One of the most popular hot spots in the world. This is the Dalmatian coast. Remember that. So you're not going to get it for 30 bucks in the summertime. You're going to get it for still cheaper than everybody else, but you're still going to get it for a little bit more price around 100 euros. So let's go. This is Buño's apartment. <laughs> 